Hey everyone, what's up? Hope you are all doing great. Today you're probably wondering why we're down here. So we are not doing anything on the ground. As you know, we should keep ourselves grounded. Why do we have to connect with everyone on a personal level? So the more we are connected to the ground, the more we will fly. And today we are here to discuss this with you. I have shared theoretical knowledge with you in several videos. I already talked to you about Ayurvedic remedies. I have given many tips. But today we are going to chat about yoga poses that can help with psoriasis. Maybe I haven't gone into much detail or demonstrated it myself before. If you are someone who has psoriasis or any skin condition, you can follow along with me and practice these yoga asana while watching this video. So that you can calm your mind. Because we get a lot of comments that you say a lot, relax your mind, don't take stress. So how to get rid of stress? So today we will perform this asana, so that your stress is reduced, it is diverted. Obviously, you might expend some energy and work up a sweat. So performing this asana will automatically reduce your stress and help you think less about your worries. And this pose will also be very beneficial for psoriasis. To feel better, improve your skin, and boost your immune system. If you are tuning into my video, hey everyone, let's start doing this asana together. And let us know how much this asana has helped you feel better, both physically and in terms of your disease. So first of all, you don't need to take any action. The first asana is a wind-free asana. This asana is really easy. You don't need to do much, just lay a bed sheet, mat, or yoga mat on the floor. You have to lie down normally, you can perform along with me if you want. Just lie down normally and bring both your legs towards your stomach. Stay in this position for 5 to 10 minutes, it's that simple. So this asana will work to get rid of your gas, whatever bloating you have, if your liver is not working properly in psoriasis. So all these things that are not functioning properly will start working as they should. And this will also help you relax your mind. You might be wondering why we are holding this position for 5 to 10 minutes. Well, this asana helps relieve gas and bloating, and can improve liver function for those with psoriasis. It's also great for calming the mind. So, let's get started. No changes needed for this sentence. Next is Balasana. Balasana is also known as the child's pose. If there are children in your house, then you must have seen children often, that they sit like this many times, normally they sit like this, or relax themselves, or lie down like this. So you have to hold this position. So we call this Balasana. In this position, your mind, body, and soul align, allowing for a sense of calmness to wash over you. This will really improve your blood circulation. Again, your blood circulation will be normal, will do well, and will make you comfortable in psoriasis. Next up is the Hastapadasana pose. You don't have to do anything for this. To do this, simply stand up straight. You simply need to stand straight, in what we call anatomically straight position in medical terms. After standing straight, you just need to raise both your hands up and bend down. Bend down as far as you can and try to touch the ground. Bend down as much as you can. I am not saying that you can do it all at once. I don't think that everyone can touch the floor with their hands at once, especially if they don't exercise, do yoga, or have flexibility in their body, but it's worth a try. Slowly, take baby steps, and after a day, your hands will start touching the floor, and you have to keep your feet straight, they should not bend, and try to touch the floor. So, you can follow this posture. Lastly, there are many more poses to explore. I am talking about a posture that can help with psoriasis, improve your health, and provide relaxation. Basically, it will help you relieve stress, calm your mind, and aid in meditation. The last posture is the Siddha Prarthana posture. You don't need to do anything for this. Usually, you need to stand straight with your eyes closed and elbows straight. Your body should be in a relaxed and straight position, and you should have a peaceful mind without any worries or problems. Your psoriasis, the world may go to hell, the world may say anything, you are the most beautiful, so that confidence will come, and it will help you to meditate. So, this is a very simple posture, if you are performing with me, you will be able to do this easily, 
and tell us how much it is helping to release this and to get rid of your psoriasis. If you know Kapal Bharti, you can also do it along with Alom Vilom. It's a very common and popular practice nowadays. We have been seeing it for many years and it can be easily performed. So start practicing these things from now on to keep your mind relaxed and to help with your psoriasis. Even if you are not receiving my treatment, it is important to understand how psoriasis can be cured. You can also try doing Alom Vilom and Kapal Bharti, which are very popular and easy to perform. Doesn't matter, you start doing this, and you will see within 21 days, you will start seeing changes, you will feel that after 21 days, some changes are coming in the body, and we are cured from here. So, if you are not able to find any solution, and if you want to cure psoriasis, then consult my doctor's team, and meet us, and get the right solution, and take care of yourself. So, thank you and take care.